Hi Tech Enthusiasts! Welcome back to our tutorial channel. Today, we are shifting our topic to wireless bridges. So you know how Wi-Fi works, right? It's like a router shouting, Hey devices, come party over here! And blasting signal in all direction. But what if you need to send that signal directly to another building, like your garage studio or your neighbor's office? Well, that's where wireless bridges comes in. So let's break it down. So think of regular Wi-Fi like a megaphone. It broadcasts everywhere. And a wireless bridge is more like a walkie-talkie. Instead of spreading signals, it locks onto a specific receiver. So you'll need two devices, a transmitter and a receiver, and they shake hands over a dedicated frequency and creating a private data highway. No more shouting into the void. So wireless bridges are powerful tools for connecting networks without cables, but their inner working can feel like magic. A wireless bridge acts as a network translator, linking two separate wire networks over Wi-Fi or radio waves. So imagine it as a virtual cable that replaces physical Ethernet lines. So wireless bridge system uses high-gain directional antennas focused signals like a laser beam, unlike omnidirectional Wi-Fi routers. So for example, the data from a security camera is wrapped in a Wi-Fi envelope with headers like source or destination address. Then the transmitter will send that data via radio waves to the receiver, and the directional antennas ensure minimal signal spread. Then the receiver unwraps the data, checks for errors, and forwards it to a network video recorder. And soon, you have your video feed. But now here's the catch. These two lovebirds need a clear line of sight. Trees, walls will block the signal. And yes, weather matters too. Rain or fog can weaken the connection, so it's like trying to tag through a snow globe. So you should aim those antennas directly to each other. And the pro tips here is, if you can run a cable, just do it. Ethernet is like the reliable friend who always shows up. But when digging trenches isn't an option, let's say across a garden or to another building, then wireless bridges save the day. And you can use them when cables are literally off the table. So there you have it, wireless bridges in a nutshell. They're your go-to when cables can cut it, but they're not invincible. And let me know in the comments what's the weirdest place that you've set up a wireless bridge. And thank you very much for joining us. Stay connected and don't miss out on our next videos on more wireless bridges.